going off grid these days, you have the capability to do anything. You live totally sufficiently. You don't rely on big networks and power systems and control or quality of power. A lot of young people now are deciding to, to try and free their lifestyles up and, and not have to live in the city. They may buy a property an hour out of the city or even 45 minutes where they can live sustainably and off grid. Okay, I'm gonna talk you through the components of an off-grid system. We've got 21 solar panels situated up there facing north. We have a wood heater flue, which is situated in the house. And then down the end of the roof, we have our solar hot water system. Down the very end in the ground, we have our septic system, our water pump, and then in this room here is where the batteries and the solar inverters live. How this system works is from the solar panels on the roof, it goes through the solar inverter, the house uses it first, excess solar power then comes through and is stored in the batteries. This is the solar inverter, it changes the power form, so that from the solar panels which is on the roof, which creates the power, it comes to the inverter and the inverter changes it to AC power. It's electronic are made in Melbourne and are the top tier off-grid inverter. You can either monitor it online on your computer inside so you can see what your battery system is doing, what is happening with the system at any given moment from work or at home or, or wherever. All of this gear is scalable. We could add double the batteries, we could add double everything, and it's all adaptable and plug and essentially play. The best thing about going off grid now is the ease of installation. The components are state of the art. It's not the expense it used to be even five years ago. So off grid living was, uh, was originally perceived, I guess, by the more of the hippie movement trying to get away from society. That's definitely changed. The younger generation now are thinking more about their own lifestyle and freedom. It's not hippie anymore, it's hip. Boom. <laughs>